This is Ryan Sagar, the gringo in Rio de Janeiro. And today we got an amazing day ahead of us. Another day of what are the most fun activities to do here in Rio de Janeiro. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna head down to that lake, Lagoa Rodrigo de Freitas, and we're gonna do a little skateboarding. We're also gonna check out a place called the House of Switzerland. It was built specifically for the Olympics to give an experience of Switzerland. We're also gonna do a short little hike as we skate along the lake in a park called Parque Catacumba. We got a long day ahead of us, a lot of fun things to do. So I'm gonna get showered up and then we're gonna go. So here we are at the House of Switzerland, located at Lagoa Rodrigo de Freitas. What we're doing here is checking out all the activities going on. There's a ton of things going on. We have some live music that's about ready to happen. Behind me, we have the traditional food of Switzerland. We're actually gonna go and try and talk to a few people. I'm actually really nervous. This will be the first time I do an actual interview. Let's see if we can't talk to a few people, okay? So hey guys, this is Ryan Sagar, of course, the gringo in Rio de Janeiro, and I'm here with Nicholas. And Nicholas, tell us a little bit about the... Uh, gringo, the second gringo. <laughs> uh, so Nicholas, tell us a little bit about the house in Switzerland. So we have a house for the athletes, of course, I'm not there yet, but I mean, we have a house. There is some room for the athletes. We're gonna, we're gonna welcome all the Swiss athletes here. But besides that, we are giving a Swiss experience to a lot of people here. It's all about experiencing Switzerland. So you've got, obviously we've got some food from Switzerland. I saw the, it's a hot dog that comes from Switzerland, or, or what do you guys call that? Oh, we have, yeah, you're right. We have kind of Swiss hot dogs, but we have melted cheese too. This is a one specialty from us. You, you just melt the cheese and we eat it with potatoes. This is the second specialty, plus, of course, chocolate. Yeah, I've, I've had the chocolate, love the chocolate. And so the athletes, where are the rooms for the athletes? Is that right behind us? Yeah, it's, be, it's behind us. So it's, uh, you can see those glasses a bit blurred. Th this is the place for the athletes because we want the athletes to be separated if they want to the public. So a majority of the athletes will be at the Olympic Park, but some will be here, is that correct? Exactly. I mean, I used to say that there are going to be two villages, the Olympic Village and the Swiss Village for the athletes. So before the competition, maybe they're going to be in the, in, in the Olympic Village, but after the competitions to meet the fans, celebrate the medals, they're going to be here. Great. And how long did it take to prepare all this? Because as we were talking earlier, and, and of course me being Rio de Janeiro, we are actually here on top of a baseball field. So all the structures you see got put in before the Olympics. And how long did that take? We started the, uh, the, the, the constructions like one and a half months back in mid-June. We started with the construction because all these, we built all the structures from Switzerland. It's very, I mean, you, 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 you can build it very quickly. Great. Well, thank you so much, Nicholas. We look forward to experiencing the House of Switzerland. Uh, until next time. See you. Appreciate it. Ciao, Nicholas. Obrigado, eh? Valeu. So we 
made it up here to Mirance Sordacoba here in Parque Catacumba. Uh, Parque Catacumba is named after a favela that used to be located here. In the 70s, they were relocated, similar to what they're doing up in Olympic Park for the Rio Olympic 2016 Games. Uh, behind me, you also notice we've got the iconic Doyster Mounds. We've also got uh, right next to that uh, the Favela Hocinha, which is one of the most densely populated uh, favelas in all of Brazil, especially here in Rio de Janeiro. And of course, we've got the Mata Atlantica, which is just behind me also. But anyhow, it's absolutely stunningly beautiful up here. You got the lake be uh, below me, and we're kind of looking across the lake to another area called Jardim Botanica. Uh, but anyhow, we're gonna head to the other Miranche and then head to the lake. Woo so we just made it to the second Miranche. The Miranche is called Uruvu. And the first Miranche we were actually at was called Sacopa, not Saracopa. Anyhow, it's absolutely beautiful up here. You can see behind me, we've got one of the seven wonders of the world, the Christ, the Redeemer. We're also still looking at the lake. What's cool about this trail is you get to see both the Doister Mounds at the other Miranche, and here you get to see the Christ. If you went through over here, this little area right here, that would eventually take us to an area or neighborhood called Botafogo. But anyhow, we're gonna head back towards the lake. We're gonna get a little bit of our skate on. Anyhow, what a cool day, huh? Cool hike, cool day. All right, guys, it's been a long day. We've skated 7.5 kilometers around Lagoa de Freitas. We've also climbed Parque Catacumba. We've been hanging out here for a little while at the house of Switzerland. I'm gonna go back home, get a shower, and maybe hang out in the media tent just for a little bit. Gotta give props to my boy, Sean Hopkins, for giving me a heads up about how to improve my vlogs by interviewing people. It ain't easy, but it gets easier. Thank you so much, Mr. Hopkins. And yeah, look forward to seeing you guys on my next episode. So I'm here right now with this guy. What's your name, man? Ryan. Ryan, that's my name. So great to know. And Ryan, where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. New Jersey, New Jersey. So do you speak any Portuguese? Yes, um, my mom is from, she's um, from here in Brazil. I'm having a vacation there. Awesome, and tell the gente to speak Portuguese, no? Yes. Com certeza, fala melhor que eu. Yeah? Yeah. So, what is it that you most liked about the house in Switzerland so far? Oh, I like their ice cream and their food, and yeah. Yeah, did you try any of the uh, Swiss chocolate? Yeah, I did. And how about the uh, melted cheese on potato? My mom did. Yeah, what did she think of it? She, she liked it, she really did. And so, are you, is your family from Rio de Janeiro here in Brazil, or are they from a different part of Brazil? Well, my mom is from, she's from Rio, and, but I'm from there, and she created me there. We're just having vacation here. Awesome, and you gonna watch any of the Olympic Games uh, coming up? Well, my aunt is going in the Olympic Games, and... Wow, what is she gonna compete in? Salsa. Salsa? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, do you know how to dance salsa also? No, she's teaching me. I'm learning. Cool. Well, appreciate you having on the show, Ryan. Cheers. Have a great time here at the House of Switzerland and for the Olympics, dude. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, Ryan.